Howdy, 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 howdy. This is John Akuma from Stop Motion Magazine, and I am going to show you today how to make a simple stage for stop motion animation. Uh, what you're going to need is some MDF uh, or plywood, um, some 1x4 or 2x4s, and you're definitely going to need some 1x1 one one, uh, pieces of wood. Uh, what you're going to first do is measure out your plywood or MDF um, to your desired length and width. You're going to need two of these pieces. Uh, I prefer for the small stage, uh, just leave the width uh, as, as it is right now and change the length. So I'm going to measure out 18 inches uh, for the MDF. That's the height, the length, whatever. And um, I'm going to do two of these and then I'm going to cut this. And then what you're gonna do is cut two of those. And then now also you're gonna cut your one by one to the length and the width of one of those boards. Um, first, you're gonna see here, I have uh, two pieces that go the 18 inch length and then compensate the width of whatever the board is. So they, uh, they'll make a perfect rectangular shape. Match that board. Now you're going to drill two holes at each end of this one by one piece of wood that you've cut out. Um, you should do this to two different pieces of wood, uh, or I mean, sorry, two of the same pieces of wood. Um, and then you're going to bolt them together uh, to the actual length and width of the MDF tabletop. Now you're going to clamp them together and then drill, pre-drill. Uh, where you're going to sink the screw in and then you screw in that that one bolt and um, Line it for the other end so they're perfectly aligned And do the same to the other side And then once that's done You just can put a ton of these screws all over the place if you like and make sure that's nice and secure to the frame as so Now that's your tabletop Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut those two by fours or one by fours to equal lengths. Uh, and I can't stress this enough, make sure that they're exactly equal as best as you can. Uh, these are gonna be the legs of your table and you wanna make sure that it's not wobbly, uh, which can cause a major issue. Next, you're gonna take your tabletop and, and lay it on its side, embrace it and drill in some holes for your legs to go to the table. Uh, I do two on this type of table. I, you can do more if you like. Uh, two seems to be pretty stable for me. Um, this table becomes super, super portable. I mean, it's so light as a table. I can't even stress to you. And it breaks down real easily. So if you need to go on a trip or something, you could literally just uh, break this thing down, stick it in a suitcase, take it home. I mean, take it to the hotel with you. Um, so you see that that's going on. The other great thing too is uh, by using MDF instead of using plywood, uh, there's less splinters. Um, splinters when you're animating, it's not fun. and You don't have to really sand down the MDF. It just drills real clean. Um, you know, the other thing too I like to, like to stress about this is you can make this table actually really, really big if you wanted. You could use two by four or even one, uh, one by four and make your frame and uh, expand on it, make a huge table if you like. I mean, that's pretty much what they do for the professional studios, but they also use braces for the, for the legs. Um, you're not gonna need any braces since it's so low. Here you go, here's the table. Uh, once you've attached your, um, your one by fours or two by fours or whatever to it, very simple and stable. Now you're probably going, where is the back? Um, we're getting to that, hold on one second. Uh, yeah, there it is, okay, so you're gonna now take a piece of one by one and you're gonna cut this to the length of the board that you like. Uh, you can even do a little smaller. I'll probably do mine a little smaller. And you can make your back area for this, so your back wall. Um, and then now you're gonna actually take some wood glue. Now I like to use Elmer's wood glue. Uh, I've used epoxy glues in the past. I'm trying to stay away from epoxies, man. <laughs> this stuff is toxic after a while. So wood glue is pretty safe. It's what they make violins out of and guitars and stuff. So just go get some Elmer's wood glue and uh, put attach it to your board. Now you might want to clamp this down so it's really secure and it's a really tight fit. Um, once that's done, 
let it sit. Uh, you, the instructions say you can let it sit for 30 minutes, but I prefer to let things sit overnight. Uh, I want to know for sure that it's it's really secure. Now you're going to need some C clamps for your um, for fastening this board to the table. You can also drill the drill, pre-drill and, and attach the the, board, the back wall to the table. But C clamps are really fun because uh, you can do multiple stages off this one little table. In fact, you can take off that tabletop, that MDF part, because the frame is already built, and and change the MDF. So you can do whole new floors and whole new walls and constantly change this thing out, swap it back and forth, and uh, have a very versatile table. Now attaching the C-clamps to the back of it guarantees that it stays in place. And uh, once that's there, you're ready to pretty much animate as long as you uh, have some tie downs or some something to stick the puppet to the table. My kids like to just put the clay right there on the table and just start animating, which is always fun. And uh, pretty secure. You can also drill it into the to the table if you like. Um, not necessarily necessary. This is a pretty uh, versatile way of doing things. You can stick it on your dining room table and freak out your spouse when they come home and they find out that you have all this animation going on and they have a whole production studio in their living room. So, And here you'll see uh, the simple puppet sitting on the stage. Uh, now you could paint the backgrounds, paint the floors, you can pretty much do anything you want with this thing and uh, have fun. If you want to learn more about stop motion animation or if you just want to be uh, closer to what's going on, check out stopmotionmagazine.com and download our free magazine. And keep animating.